Hi everyone, welcome to Mrs. Moskowitz's outdoor classroom. Um, last, this week we were talking about the artists Christo and Jean-Claude and how they did environmental sculptures. And I spoke about icons, but I didn't really explain what an icon is. So an icon is something that is recognizable just by its shape. Like the Statue of Liberty is a recognizable icon. The Liberty Bell is a recognizable icon. Okay, so we're not going to work with icons here. We're going to work with furniture and things you have around the house. And we're going to work with tablecloths or blankets or sheets and string. And we're going to create our own outdoor sculptures. Okay, like this. This is a very recognizable object. Everyone can tell that this is a water bottle, but I wrapped it, I tied it with string, and this is now a sculpture, a sculpture of a water bottle. I'm going to take some tablecloth and have two chairs, and I'm going to drape these two chairs and I have an environmental sculpture and what's fun about this is you can use it as a tent to hide inside of Peekaboo. you can rearrange it in different ways and try different configurations you could add different cloths to it to make it look different. I can take these tables over here and set them up. Balance them, which should be interesting. And I can take a tablecloth and drape it over there in one direction Oops. and take another one Oops. you know what the best part is if at first you don't succeed try try again so i'm going to see if i can balance this a little bit better i think that's a little bit better this time I'm going to take my tablecloth and drape it over it. And there I have an environmental sculpture. I could use string if I want to, and I could use twine, and I could wrap this to make it a more interesting sculpture. And it always helps if you have someone else's hands to help you with this and I could just keep wrapping this around and tying it off and make a very interesting sculpture out of these three tables. If I wanted to, another way of doing it, I could take, I think this is my biggest cloth, and I could go to this palm tree over here and take my cloth and cover it, kind of, sort of. And I could make this tree into a sculpture. So I'm challenging you to find things around your house and around your neighborhood, use some cloths with your parents' permission, and go around and make some outdoor sculptures. Have a good time. Make yourself a fort out of different furnitures and drapings. And enjoy making environmental sculptures from things you have around your house. I hope you enjoyed learning about Christo and Jean-Claude and environmental sculptures, and I hope you'll join me again next week.
for our study on another artist that I'm sure you'll love. Thanks for visiting me at Mrs. Moskowitz's Art Room.